is reversed. That means when the collector plate Q is kept at lower potential compared to the emitting plate P, then it is observed that the photoelectric current rapidly decreases and becomes zero. Current becomes zero here at a particular potential called stopping potential. So, earlier I told you the definition of stopping potential, it is a negative potential applied to the collector plate at which the photoelectric current becomes 0. So, throughout this curve, the frequency of incident radiation is kept constant. Now, suppose this is done, this experiment is done with the intensity I 1. Suppose you repeat the same experiment with another intensity say I 2 with I 2 greater than I 1. Then similar type of graph is observed, but we see here that saturation current will be higher because we know that photoelectric current is more when intensity is increased. So, the, uh, this intensity when it is increased, the saturation current will be more and the shape of the graph will be somewhat like this and we observe that the stopping potential will remain the same. Here frequency is kept constant, frequency we are not changing at all. So, as long as frequency is kept constant, the stopping potential remains the same. That means, stopping potential depends only on the frequency not on the intensity. So, the intensity even if you changing, stopping potential is coming same. So, these two are independent of each other. That is intensity of radiation is not going to affect the stopping potential. So, this is the uh, effect of potential on photoelectric current. So, next we have to study the third factor that is frequency. So, when we study the effect of frequency, then we have to keep the intensity constant. So, when you keep the intensity constant, as I explained to you earlier, for positive potential, if you increase the positive potential applied on the collector plate, the photoelectric current will increase and the saturation will be achieved. So, if this graph is for the same intensity I. So, now if you give the negative potential, we know that the current will become 0 at a particular negative potential which is called stopping potential. Now, the same experiment if you are repeating with different frequencies by changing the frequency, but keeping I constant. Then since we are, we are keeping I constant, therefore, the saturation current will be same, but we are changing the frequency. So, the stopping potential will vary. Again, if I am repeating the experiment with the third frequency, I will be getting another stopping potential say V naught 3. So, this is for 3, 2 and 1. So, nu 3 greater than nu 2 greater than nu 1. So, this shows that as you increase the frequency of incident radiation, the stopping potential is also increasing. So, negative value of stopping potential is getting increased. So, this clearly shows that the stopping potential depends only on the frequency, but not on the intensity. And in this graph, since we keep the intensity constant, the saturation current will remain the same. So, these three graphs are very important from exam point of view. We have to be very careful in reading. So, this graph will be given to you and they may ask you which factor is kept constant. So, without any confusion, we should be in a position to recollect. So, for this we can recollect this equation. So, if you remember this equation, from here we can clearly understand that kinetic energy which is the measure of stopping potential depends only on the frequency, but not on the intensity. So, since in this case we are changing the frequency, stopping potential is also changing. So, these are related. So, there is no intensity coming in this equation. So, from, from this we can remember that stopping potential or the kinetic energy of emitted electrons, the, these two factors are independent of intensity of incident radiation, but depend only on the frequency.
So, we have studied up to experimental study of photoelectric effect today. So, tomorrow will be in the our next class we will be studying about loss of photoelectric effect and the explanation based on Einstein's photoelectric equation. Thank you.